Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show the new variable type requested for in catalog items. So let's see what is this requested for variable type and what it does. OK. Uh, log into your instance. OK. And uh, go to maintain items. OK. Go to maintain items. And open any item. OK. I like anything like uh, let me open anything like a uh, Apple iPad 3. OK. OK, so now uh, OK, this is not uh, active. OK, so let me open the active items. OK, like access or something else. OK. And try it. And you have nothing, uh, no variables here. OK. Uh, or let me open in uh, service portal. Service portal. Open and uh, this. Open access. Okay. So now we, here you don't have uh, any. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh, any variables here, okay? So, so for example, if I order now, okay, then it will arrive only on uh, like uh, I I have arrived, okay? System administrator arrives this request, but if you want to arrive uh, this request for other users, okay, what you need to do, you need to have some variable here, like who is requesting for or something else, right? So for that one, uh, normally what we do, we go to items, okay? We go to item, and in the variables, uh, we go and click on new variable, okay? New variable, and uh, select for, okay, before explaining requested for, I will explain reference, okay? Reference, okay? And um, let's add like, um, who is requester? Okay. Then requester, we will add. Okay. And type specification, you need to queue as a user under users table. Okay. Um, go to this underscore user table. Okay. Sys underscore user table. Where is that? Okay, let's add simple only. Okay, there is no nothing, nothing, no order, nothing. Okay, and uh, try to save it. Try to save it. And once it is submitted and reload this one, now you have a requester. OK, and uh, uh, there is a drop down to the user's table. OK, now your requirement is like, so whenever I open, OK, I need to auto populate the requester like a login user, like system administrator. And if I want to choose another user, I can choose from the list. So that is your requirement. So what you will do, you will go to the maintain item, OK? You go to the maintain item. Let me go. Okay, you will go to maintain item. You create some um, catalog client scripts, like uh, or uh, you will add some uh, JavaScript on that particular variable, like a gs dot get user user ID. Okay, so you will write some scripts. Okay, to auto populate uh, you login user on the requester field. Instead of that, what we have now is a new, okay, new field called um, requested for. Okay, 
let me request that file. OK, type the question called um, requested file. OK, our name will automatically taken. OK, in the specification, you no need to define the user's table. OK, you no need to define user's table. You don't need to define anything. Just submit it. OK, just submit it or save it. Let's it save, OK? And now go on to refresh. So see, here the requested file is automatically populated with login to user. OK, for example, if I uh, impose net with the Abel tutor, and if I have reload the screen, reload this page, so the requested file Abel tutor is auto populated. OK, auto populated. Uh, let me end the screen. OK, so that is so you no need to write any scripts or any uh, default value or anything to populate on the requested for login users. So by out of the box, it is coming OK, like a requested for variable type. And here, what else you can do? You can enable also requested for. OK, what it means? Let's save it. OK, so uh, you have you are rising only on behalf of you. OK, uh, you want this access uh, on your laptop or uh, something monitor. OK, this application. OK, along with you, you need some other users. OK, you need to submit for like one or two or ten users. OK, then it is like you need to submit ten users ten times. Or OK, 10 times like a one one user for one, one user for two second or something like that. You need to submit for 10 times instead of that. OK, you can enable this one. OK. Uh, and refresh now. Now see there is an option called OK, request for multiple users. You can request for multiple users like uh, selecting a build tutor. OK, or any other users island. OK, or any other users. OK, uh, Alexandra or something like that. OK, so you can select multiple users at a time and submit the request. OK, not only on behalf of you, you can submit uh, on behalf of others, like number of others, not only one user, like more users you can submit in one request. OK. So this and also there is an one more thing added in the requested for called roles to use. For example, who can submit this request uh, for others? OK, like which role people can submit like all users or only ITL users or only admin users. OK, you can define. For example, if I click on OK, and admin only admin can select. OK, only admin can select multiple uh, selections. OK, let's see what will happen. Reload it. And uh, you can see because you are an admin, uh, so you can add a requester first. OK, if I impersonated with Abel Tutor, Abel Tutor is not an admin and let's see what will happen okay so if i reload it okay then there is no multiple user option for able tutor because he is not admin because why it is not seeing we did not add the ideal role here or any other roles or anything here okay so that is how we will use requested for without scripting or anything okay uh, so let's low code uh, or no code okay no code and uh, performance wise it is a benefit to you and you can use it in your customer instance and you can propose to customers okay use this one instead of reference normal reference if you are using for users table okay that's it
Thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy online service now. Thank you very much for your time.